Stop. Just stop. Look, I'm sorry about what you went through. It sucks. Nobody should ever have to go through that. But the constant calling me every single day, the nonstop text, the calling me again after I don't pick up for the first time within five seconds, it's driving me insane. I have other things to do in my life. I can't be babysitting you all the time. It's not fair to me and it's not fair to you. We were never friends. The problem is, I was just too polite to say anything about it in the first place, and somehow you got it in your head that we're like the closest of friends when it's anything but. You need to talk to somebody else, you have to connect with somebody who can actually understand and help what you're going through. I'm done. Please, fuck off. Sure, that's what we all love to say to that clingy, needy person that can't take a hint, but society says it's a bridge too far. So how do you deal with them? How do you deal with this leech, this energy vampire that won't go away? Ask them for money. You have to understand, this person is not your friend. They only call you when they need something and it's convenient for them. And if you ever try to steer the conversation to what's going on in your life or things that maybe you need help with, they immediately turn it back on themselves. It's a transactional relationship, but the transaction only goes one way. By saying this one sentence, you have changed the entire dynamic of the relationship. Before, it was just them taking and taking and taking without ever expecting to give or invest anything on their own, but now there's an expectation. This person that I've been trauma dumping and using as an emotional tampon for God knows how long, now they want help, now they want support, ah, Jeff, I don't know about all this. This only works if you constantly bring it up every time they contact you, and it has to be for an amount of money that you know they can never possibly give you. The more that they call you after this point, the sooner in the conversation you bring it up. Until eventually, it'll be the first thing you talk about when you pick up that phone. I promise you, within three to four interactions doing this plan, they will either greatly reduce talking to you or cut you off entirely. These people get emboldened. They can't see that they are the problem. If you don't reply to their text within five seconds of getting it, or your phone all of a sudden is maybe going straight to voicemail, they're like, huh, something odd is going on here. Let me make five more accounts to message this person on because the problem couldn't possibly be me, they will always find another way to contact you. God. How does he keep finding me? How does he keep finding me? I will be here, motherfucker. If you were the one that said, hey, I'm done, it's over, I don't want to talk to you anymore, there's a very good chance that they won't go away. They'll just keep coming back and coming back and saying all this weird, strange shit that has nothing to do with anything when you give them the agency to cut you off, then they're fine with it. Worst case scenario, you get 10,000 bucks. Mom.